Hi everybody, this is Downer. Um, I've got some built threads in RCSB. But uh, anyway, what I wanted to show you today was, you know, I've been building uh, or bashing on an ESM 190 D9, uh, long nose Dora. And uh, I had a less than a pretty takeoff. I messed up the front, so I had to rebuild the front of it, uh, replace the firewall. You can see that a little bit better. Um, a bit of a chore, but it was an opportunity to go ahead and add some more scale detail. So, uh, if you can see down the exhaust area, it's uh, wider on the right and narrower on the left. That's a little bit more scale with um, some other drain holes and whatnot. So, I w had a chance to rebuild that, and I can put in some better exhaust stacks. But one of the other things that I'm working on is I had to rebuild the cow flaps on this. Now, you know, I think cow flaps generate quite a bit of interest from people. They always kind of wonder, wow, how did you do that? There's a lot of different ways out there, and there's a lot of good ways. It just depends on what works for you. But this is uh, how I was able to do it with this D9. This is Mod 2. The first one was destroyed in the crash, and that used uh, some of the golden rod, the Nye rod, as a shaft, and then I had epoxied some uh, servo arms on there. And it worked pretty good. I was pretty happy with it, but the nye rod has too much twist and give so that, you know, if the uh, servo would move the horn one inch all the way down on the end, you know, with the twist of the nye rod, that give, that flex, sometimes you wouldn't get that full inch of deflection. You would get something a little bit less, you know, further away from the uh, twist of the axle or that shaft. So anyway, I picked up on some of the other uh, build threads out there. There's some great ideas, and uh, I'm using an Aquacraft uh, flexible shaft. I know uh, people use it for their uh, RC boats and whatnot for the shaft, the throttle drive shaft. So it doesn't hardly have any of that twist flex at all. It's very sturdy. It's rock solid. So I used that. It's a little thicker, and I used it in some bushings. So if you can see here, uh, with these nylon bushings, so I don't have any real metal to metal contact. So here's the Aquacraft flex shaft here, nylon bushings, and I just epoxied it on some uh, little hardwood blocks. Um, and I just epoxied all that in when I epoxied in the uh, cowl ring. So uh, over on the ends here, some small little control horns are high salt on there. So. Uh, they're nice and sturdy. They won't be coming off, not easily anyhow. Um, so let's go ahead and give this a try, and I'll show you how it all works with all the little mechanisms and whatnot. Now, this is a one-fifth scale, too. So if uh, I was going to do something perhaps quarter scale, I might actually hook up a horn to each one of these cow flaps. But at this scale, it's not really that necessary, and you know they were connected with these tabs here to make sure that everything was synchronized. And these tabs will drive the other uh, cow flaps that aren't directly attached. And it all works great, uh, even at speed when you're flying around. So, so let's give this a try. You'll see as the uh, servo turns down here, it pushes up on the main drive horn here. And then I've got two horns, one on each end, that are connected to the cow flaps that it will drive. Now on the this on D9s, they usually had a um, uh, a fixed cow flap so that it didn't spoil or interfere with the air going into the supercharger. So that's what you'll see on the right hand side. On the left hand side, they all moved. Of course, there's a cutout for the engine down at the bottom. So. Now this is hooked up to my throttle channel, so as I pull back on the throttle, the uh, cow flaps come open because you have less RPM, uh, so you get more airflow coming through there easily. When you have higher RPM and the plane is flying through the air a lot faster, of course, you've got that ram air coming in through the front, so it's not uh, as critical. But at low RPMs, you need to facilitate getting that air out a lot uh, easier. So just like in the real um, plane, the cow flaps will open. Now, 
on the full size, they were uh, hooked up so that they were thermostatically controlled or manually controlled. But for my purposes, since I ran out of channels, well, I just hooked it up to the throttle, and it seems to work pretty good. And I haven't had any heat, overheating issues. So anyway, that's how I was able to do it. If you have any questions, feel free to uh, uh, either PM me or uh, respond on my build thread for the ESM 190D9. But uh, thanks for watching. Bye.